let's talk let's talk i've been waiting to do this i don't know what i've been waiting for but i've been waiting to do this and now it's time to talk because right now i'm okay right now i'm okay i'm not gonna sit here and be like i'm super mad but when it, when the shit first popped the fuck off when the shit first happened i was going through a lot of emotions and it was really fucking with me like it was messing with my head Hello, how you doing? Now it's Big Night, like, and I just wanna welcome you to my say. Hello, how you doing? Now it's Big Night, and I just wanna welcome you to my say. So let's break it down. So around April seventeenth, my best friend messaged uh our group girl chat and was like y'all know about the teenage 16 15 year old girl who was just killed by the cops and i'm like what do you mean what are you talking about send me something because what the fuck is going on like that shit i don't play about my people i'm gonna say it and i'm gonna say it again these motherfuckers already done found my YouTube channel. Somebody commented something on one of my videos. People on my Instagram. People, like, fucking harassing me. But anyway, um, my best friend, you know, sends the article. Cop shoots the 16-year-old girl. This video is released and it's showing Micaiah Bryant. Uh, she has a, a knife and basically she's running from her house, from her house and um she is launching the knife you know and for me at the end of the day regardless of how you look at it you can say that she's wrong you can say that she's right you can say that she was defending herself you can say that she was the aggressor regardless of how you put it shooting her four times was overkill for one he arrived there and but from the time that he arrived there, from the time that she died, there was only one minute apart from that. There was chaos going on. He did not try to defuse the situation at all. Okay, so, you know, if someone's using lethal force, you could use le lethal force back to defend them. All right, gotcha, right? They were fighting. If you know anything about fighting, these two girls are fighting, right? This nigga is shooting. So when people were attacking me on TikTok saying, oh, well, this is not considered attacking, but they were saying other shit on top of what about the girl in the pink? And it's like, ask the cop. Don't ask me. Ask the cop. Or I don't, I don't know how people want me to see it. How I see it is that there's another black child that's dead because the police use lethal force and excessive force in situations that can be diffused and that have been diffused and been proven to have been diffused by white cops for white Americans all over the fucking United States. So how is it that we're running away or how is it that we're selling CDs or how is it that we have a hoodie on or how is it that you're pulling me over for no reason. Or how is it that somehow, some way, your knee is on my fucking neck and I die? <sighs> anyway, I posted a video like TikTok. I don't know what the fuck is going on, but I'm just not understanding how a 17, a 16 year old girl was murdered when she was calling for help. From there, um, I posted the march that we did, and that was a problem. That shit blew the fuck up, and people were mad. And I'm over here looking under the news when they were posting about it. I was looking at the comments there. I was watching a live stream, you know, because I'm trying to be informed about what the fuck is going on and what's going to be done, because a lot of times ain't shit done. But, you know, I'm hoping for it. Like, you know, you want something to be done. Um, and with that being said, people were 
once again, taking these type of moments, taking one of our losses, taking one of taking one of our grieving moments, people not of color and using that and gaslighting those moments to display their racism on a whole different fucking platform of racism. And it's sickening. Honestly, it is fucking sickening. Now, I went back and forth with a few people. There was one person who told me, because I said I'm a big stepper for my people. I am. I I am. I am. I'm, I'm not going to play about my skin. It's not something that's ever going to change about me. Once I figured out, like, what it is to be a black woman, for real, I don't play about my skin. I don't. I don't. Because other people just see it as dark skin, and this is, this is fucking so much more than that the melanin that's running through me the things that i can do the person that i can fucking be maybe i'm gonna protect this motherfucking skin and i'm gonna go hard for it every single time i've had too many people doubt me because of my skin i'm not about to play too many people doubt us because of our skin stop playing with us period and that being said me expressing my opinion felt like or gave white people the ammunition to come and attack me in every single way that they could. I never responded back and called anybody dumb. I never did anything of that sort. They would report my videos. They finally got my page shit taken down. And we're gonna get to that a little later. But um, reporting my videos, um, there was this one video <laughs> And I'm going to say exactly what I said, but not with the cuss words so that YouTube don't mute and do crazy shit because you know how YouTube is. Um, I said, you white and F that's on my page that's racist AF. Don't worry about it because y'all got kids and y'all got careers and y'all in school. But y'all sitting on my page doing what y'all doing. If I find a video, I'll just post it on the other side. I'll just, boom, insert the video. I said it just like that. And I felt the way that I felt because y'all are being racist as fuck. Calling me clowns. Sitting up here saying that I should be dead just like her. Sending me death threats. Like, what the fuck is going on? One man, um, one man, uh, did a stitch to my video and was just like shut up you dumb effing and <laughs> woo, y'all like tiktok was allowing for all of this to happen i'm blocking people after a while i told them i got control over my page this is this is janae's motherfucking page i got control over my shit y'all don't got control over me y'all can't <laughs> no no if i don't want to see it i ain't got to see it if i want to deal with it i don't have to deal with it at and it's, that's just that on that. That's just that on mother that. So, moving along, days is going on. I'm continuing on my life. I'm making my cooking videos. I'm making other videos. I'm chilling. I am cool. You know what I'm saying? Why the fuck? I go, and people still harassing me every day. Like, some days, don't even look at TikTok. Don't even want to see it, because thousands of comments just thousands of f fucking comments of people harassing me messages y'all finding my fucking shit my facebook my like go find something else to do because at the end of the day you're entitled to your own opinion and i'm entitled to my own opinion at the end of the day your opinion is not gonna make me sleep any best or any less at night at the end of the day your soul is fucked up for you to even feel entitled enough to come on my page and attack me because we have different opinions not just attack me but attack my skin not just attack me but attack a dead woman who did, didn't fucking deserve to die straight like that i'm going to insert some of the fucking screenshots that i have that i sent over to tiktok when they permanently banned my fucking tiktok for too many profile violations let's break this down let's break this shit down Y'all let this non-person of color, because motherfuckers really had me fucked up calling me racist. Can't even be racist, baby. Can't even be racist, but we ain't even going to get into it. We not going to get into it. We not going to get into it, y'all. I am fucking heated. I'm heat tit. 
but we're not gonna get into it can't even be racist out in this thing but <laughs> let me continue on doesn't mean that i can't be prejudiced let's get that straight because don't come in the comments don't come in the comments with the bullshit listen tiktok is full of shit full of shit i ain't going to play no games about it tiktok is full of shit and i'm about to break it down for y'all here we go so listen boom i go to log into this bitch and this ain't my shit is permanently banned for breaking too many tiktok violations that is exactly what that shit said. I wish I could. I'm going to look and see if I took a screenshot. I'm going to even try to log back into that bitch and take a fucking screenshot when I edit this video. Put this put this video up so that y'all can see everything so that y'all can understand where I'm going. Now remind you in this video I told y'all that these motherfuckers kept recording my video. Recording my recording my video. Another thing. One time during the day of all of this chaos going on on the fucking videos. two two people so somebody you know was agreeing with me but there were so many comments i just i couldn't respond back to everything but she was going back and per forth with this person and she's just like oh y'all make it seem like y'all run tiktok talking to the people uh non people of color and um oh yeah she's talking about oh i she was talking to us and she said basically that they run tiktok and the next day my page was shut down <laughs> and it's crazy because i was seeing a trend of the people who were attacking me they were whoo i just i'm not trying to shake it up but i'm gonna shake it the fuck up because this is my experience they were white people who were trump supporters um mainly with lovely big american flag emojis as their screensavers and in their bios yeah it's crazy how the world works anyway so i go and i appeal that shit y'all don't fucking play around with me don't play around with me i'm i'm gonna see i hope i took a screenshot Ooh, i hope i took a screenshot but i sent in all of this fucking screenshots that i did have of people talking to me fucking crazy and saying sick crazy shit to me i definitely sent in that i sent in the one death threat that i did keep most of that shit i was deleting y'all got me fucked up y'all not about to put that badass energy off on me y'all not about to do that y'all not about to shake me up like that you're not about to shake me up like that because if you come to my house you got something real crazy coming at you that you're not even going to expect you're just gonna be like oh my god did i die yes bitch you did so anyway moving on i have filled this shit because i'm like yo look at all of this stuff that they were saying to me y'all did not say anything y'all did not delete their pages y'all did not do anything this is very unfair and i i was <laughs> don't play with her i'm not playing with y'all because they really they really did me grimy they really fucking did me grimy with this shit y'all see this shit because if y'all banning my page y'all see my page i have not done anything wrong on my fucking tiktok for y'all to delete my tiktok nothing 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 y'all nothing so with that being said with that being said i appealed that shit and these motherfuckers message me today email me back and say oh my sincere apology i'm gonna insert the shit because i'm adding words in there they probably didn't say my sincere apologies but they said something on, on behalf of oh your profile said that you were 13 so that's why your account was removed so like i said I'm gonna go ahead and take a screenshot to show y'all what the fuck it said. And then I'm gonna show y'all the email that they sent. I sent them my information because I want my page back. I want my page back. And when I get my page back, when I get my page back, I'm lighting that motherfucker up. I'm not playing around with TikTok. 